one. Hey, everybody, we're going to go jump into this one. Bike broke into pieces from Moto Stars. We got some interesting things going on there. We got to dump a bike there. Oh, no, 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 no. Group ride problems. Got a quad lock. Let's see if the BMW driver thinks the indicator. Got a bug on your. On the top. Got a bug on your thing. Busy on his phone. He decided Whew. to provoke the rider. You like the physical booklet? Yeah. Uh, Ryan, no discounts with the rescue pack. I totally missed it. you. Distracted me, Ryan. Distracted me. Grab yourself a donut. You distracted me. All right, so we're going through here. We're going to open lane pattern in here. We're going to rev bomb, and we're just going to move on. How about that? We're just going to move on. No problem, Ryan. I get a little squirrel. Squirrel. Uh, guys, we're raising money for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. We're trying to get top 50 in the world. Click the link in the description. You're going to get a 50% off coupon for the physical booklet if you donate. And you're going to get a digital... I'm sorry, you're going to get a uh, coupon for the digital drill booklet. 75% off. It comes out to $3.75 on the store if you do that. All right, here we go. Let's go. Yeah, we're watching this. So you know what, what I'm going to do? For every road rage video, I'm going to go ahead and do an ad spot. Hopefully, there's going to be less road rage videos from now on. Biker Ray, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Line of sight, line of sight. Line of, whoa, whoa, whoa. Guess. Ooh, gas it, gas it, gas it, gas it. Ooh. All right, so we're coming through here. Nice little uh, classic car going through here. We're all having our fun. Here's the problem right here. What's around that corner? What's around this? You can't see. He didn't even look. You can't see around here. You don't know what's going on. These people don't have to tell you, but there's an open lane right here. There's possible traffic. So at this point, what we need to do is we have our escape path right in front of us because that's exactly where we're going, right? That's exactly where we're going. Of course, it's a Nissan about to hit us. Uh, what we can do is accelerate, because if we apply the progressive braking and try to stop right here, we're going to get hit. If we try to swerve right, it doesn't really do much. Swerving left doesn't really do much. We need to accelerate out of it. So this is a great example of utilizing acceleration as an escape versus just swerving. Because whenever, you know, when I first started riding, I heard, um, find that escape path. I'm thinking, all right, swerve left and right. Not always. It's also accelerating to your escape path. It's also decreasing your speed with progressive braking so that you can now have more options of an escape path. So get yourself out of there. Accelerate. Got very lucky. Got very lucky. Very dumb, but very lucky. The crazy life. All right, intersection, orange stage, orange stage, orange stage, orange stage. What are we doing here? Nikon, but you know, it's good to try different things. Okay, all right, we're getting merged into stop fighting for the lane, stop fighting for it, just stop fighting for it. You see, this person, look how how many seconds is this? There's the indicator. I usually wear an icon, but how you know, it's good to try. We see this. How slow is this person finally coming in, and then you're gonna do that? Idiot. Are you done? Okay, what did I just say? I just said, if we see Road Rage stuff, we're going to do an ad spot. All right, so guys, make sure you guys sign up for the MTC Rider Academy. It is $100 a year, okay? But you, you get a mail, you get the newsletter, you get the basic rider course, the new BSR, Unit 2 is coming out May 7th, you get the smart rider drills, and you get all the downloadables when it comes to what we have here. So the rescue booklet, the rescue card, the drill booklet, our very first ebook, which is gonna be replaced by the new BSR book after everything's done and how to buy a motorcycle for beginners. So guys, uh, if you wanna stop seeing these ads, stop committing road rage. She's like really looking at us like, we're the ones that did something wrong until she saw the camera on my face. Pop quiz. Right before, this is what's happening right before the incident. This is during the incident. And this is after the incident. <laughs> what happened, everybody? We saw a corner. Assuming orange stage. Let's figure it out. 
as the biker admitted he was trying to catch up with the group and was oh a little bit of ego trying to catch up with the group himself in a very difficult situation put himself in a bad spot tire. so we're gonna be changing up uh the pop quizzes to have oh a little bit of loss of traction and there we are we're done we're gone he's got some gear he's got some of that strap on gear that's what she said um his head is dangling not good Got some CE rated stuff. It looks like Alpine Stars. I saw the Giants. Giant A on there. He's got boots, but shorts. Interesting choice. All right. So, yeah, we're actually going to change this up. So, once again, we're doing these live streams now exclusively for MTC Rider Academy members and Discord members. So, this is the last live stream that we're doing public. But I'm going to be changing this up to like A, B, C, and D of what happened. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This is the scene from Mad Max, almost. All right, so once again, if we are trying to catch up to our buddies, let's not do that. This is why we have a pre-ride meeting of our final destination of where we're supposed to be ending up at. It's gonna have a route. It's, we're gonna all understand what's happening. We're all, we all know what's gonna go on. And we're also talking on our Cardo Pack Talk edges, okay? So, cause that has an amazing, uh, it's over a mile of, uh, you can talk to each other. Uh, connectivity has the dynamic mesh so you can just be riding and then all of a sudden it reconnects so it's really cool it's what we use here link in the description for a discount but don't go crazy with your speed trying to catch up especially when you have corners coming up here so yeah let's go ahead and pass fine go ahead and speed if you want it's a double yellow i wouldn't recommend it i don't want you speeding in the first place but if you're going to do it do it in an area where it's safer but right here we're not setting up for the turn so speeding on that straightaway one thing Maintaining your speed on this, see you later, Ryan. Maintaining your speed on this, especially when you have that sign that says, hey, guess what? We should probably be going a little bit slower. Okay, that sign is gonna tell you that something's coming up, okay? Utilize the signage and your GPS on your phone, which is on your handlebars using a quad lock, as like a mini map, just like you're doing in Grand Theft Auto. You know what's coming up next, so, so modulate your speed. There should be no reason why you don't know the route you're going on. No reason. If you have internet connect connectivity, and at the same time, before internet, guys, and I'm 30, almost 36 in July, uh, I had to use MapQuest. And before that, I actually had to understand the signs. And then before that, I did math. <laughs> so you got to figure it out here. Going a little bit too fast, applied the brakes, especially the rear brake, lost traction on that, starting to fishtail a little bit. It's going to cause us to get screwed up. And look at this is straight away. Just went too fast on that first turn. Just went too fast. Hit the ground, hit, them, hit ourselves super hard. Not good at all. Guys, you gotta be paying attention here. You gotta be paying attention. One thing that's probably gonna save his life, let's go ahead and pull this up right here, is that he has a helmet on. Okay, so if you wear a half helmet, I don't even I don't even wanna buy a half helmet. We're doing unit two right now, and we're talking about gear, and I only have a three-quarter modular and a full face. I'm not even gonna purchase a half helmet. I don't wanna give anybody that money. It's not gonna do any good. Three-quarter helmet. We have three-quarter helmets here. We're gonna go ahead and utilize it, but I'm gonna show you guys what a modular helmet looks like. Okay, this is a modular helmet. Without this top part, the chin bar, without the chin bar, put that back, there we go. Without the chin bar, uh, this is a three-quarter helmet, okay? So a modular helmet is, is basically a three-quarter helmet and a full-face helmet. It's a full-face helmet when you put it down, okay? So this is a full-face now. Modular helmet is when it's hanging out like this. A modular, you can do either or. Three-quarter helmet, as you can tell, does not protect your face. It does not protect your airway. It protects the base of your skull, protects the rest of your skull, but will not protect your airway and protect your face. So if you have a frontal impact, which happens most of the time, especially on the chin bar, right here on the face, when you crash, you're gonna have injuries. So don't ride with the modular helmet up like this and don't ride with the three-quarter helmet, to be quite honest, unless you're gonna be doing some, I don't know, really good risk management. What you wanna do is wear a full-face helmet. Full-face helmet is what we recommend here. And what you can do with a modular helmet when you're riding is to put it down and now it's a full face helmet. The only reason why you wanna have it up is that when you're parked, it's hot, you're getting a drink of water at a red light or you go into a store, put it up or take off your helmet. Full face helmet all the way. Make sure you do it. And by the way, this is uh, the lesson slide that is gonna be unit one, lesson two. So let's go ahead and Pull this back up. Let's keep going. That's part of the BSR, Basic Smart Rider class. Check it out. Links in the description. The Basic Smart Rider. That's unit two. Okay, he's got a little sneak peek. Whoa, what happened? What happened? 
We're riding, having some fun. Oh, no, 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 no. Dump the bike. That's exactly what I'm talking about here when it comes to that full face helmet. So take a quick look. So what happens here is that we reach back down and grab the front brake a little bit. See that right there? We grab the front brake. Look at his hands. Accidentally squeeze the front brake, which is going to cause that front suspension to compress. Weight's being transferred to that front tire. It's going to allow for pretty good progressive braking, but the problem is we're not stabilized, which is going to cause us to move forward. And there's that weight transfer to the front, which allows for that contact patch to the front tire, which allows you to slow down and stop, but we're not set up right. And we're going to go ahead and start falling down. So here's going to be the blurry part, but once we hit the ground, I think it shows. There's that face straight into the ground. Get yourself a full face helmet. Now this is from Voss. Okay, we do have a link in the description. It's an affiliate code, but I got this specifically because I wanted to put this in the course. But if we're riding around like this and we hit face first, it's not gonna do us any good. Make sure you're wearing a full face helmet. And if you're wearing a modular helmet, keep it down so that when you do hit, it hits this, not your face. All right? So when you're stunting, you can still be a smart rider and acquire and use personal protective equipment. You can still do that. If you didn't have that front face or the full face, he would have been hurt bad. You can still get a concussion, right? So we still, we still have to remain calm and sure on safety, stop many major bleeds, but then the quickly assess severity, we have disorientation, nausea, all these different things that are going to indicate a possible concussion, head injury symptoms. It's basically a traumatic brain injury here. It's very serious. And right now, the way he's kind of staring off into space, he's kind of staring off right here. Um, he's still rebooting. So he probably has a concussion. So let's just sit with him, see how he's feeling, see how he's doing. Does he have any pain in his neck, pain in his lower back? Um, I'm going to ask him because we talk about informed, implied consent, everything like that in our, or in our course, which can be Unit 5, which is coming out, I believe. By, yeah, everything's going to be coming out by the end of May for the most part. We're talking about rescue awareness. Here, I would sit with him, possibly ask him, hey, do you want me to call 911? Okay, that's part of remaining calm. Okay, so he's going to make the choice, but either way, maybe just get them on the road, call 911, get the EMS on the road, and then cancel if you need to. But he does not look good. He does not, he does not look good. Look how he's staring off into space. Good. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Let's take a look at this one. Same person. Lift your foot up. Lift your foot up. He's going to want to bite. There you go. Get yourself out of there. You don't want to get yourself out of there so quickly that you dump the bike, too, and whiskey throttle it. All right? I'm, I'm staying right... U-turns, 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 U-turns. Okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. What's happening here? We're going to be in orange stage anyways. Just because it's green does not mean you go. Just because it's green does not mean you go. You just put yourself in a dangerous situation. Let them, it's green right now, let them do their thing. I get it, but the other person wasn't going. Lift your feet up. Practice a slow speed. Accelerate out of there. Oh no, we got some idiots on the road. Idiot alert. So now we're getting road rage. You put out the energy out there on the road, this is what happens. So once again, I told you guys, we are not going to be talking about road rage incidents. What we're going to be doing is an ad spot because it's road rage, and we are raising money for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. Make sure you guys sponsor me. Links in the description. We're trying to get top 50, and let's go ahead and get right back to the video. It's for men's mental health, prostate cancer research, and suicide prevention. May 21st, we're going to be riding in the DGR here. All righty, let's move on. Hey, pop quiz, here we go. So this is what happened right before everything happened. This is what's happening during. Oh, no. Um, this is what's happened before. This is two different camera angles. And then this is what's happening during, too. So, guys, we're going to change this out for more of an A, B, C, and D pop quiz type thing. But let's take a look. Look at the motion blur on this. Very good. That's a Cardo Pack Talk. It's a Cardo Pack Talk edge. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh! Ugh. What happened? Let's take a look at his brake. Let's see if he smashes the front brake. No. Oh, look at look at the road. Look at the road. Looks like somebody took a piss on it. Look at the road. The discoloration, right? And then watch. As soon as he hits it. 
What is that? Is that oil? Look at that. The sign. Slippery when wet. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, but yeah, look at this. Yeah. Um, I think there's a road surface hazard. Road surface hazard. Something there. Something in the middle. Something that other cars don't have to deal with. Because look at it, The car, when it goes over it, it's underneath the car. What is that? What is that? Ugh. Almost got ran over by all his KTM buddies. <laughs> yeah. It's probably gravel. <laughs> yeah. Look at that on the road. What is that? It's maple syrup. There you go. Probably Canada. Here we go. Sarge, here we go. Look at the road surface hazards on this thing. Oh my gosh. Whoa, squirrel. Hey, we got a little fun one there. Hey, pop quiz. This is what happened at the very beginning. Like I said, we're going to remove this. We're going to change this up. This is what happened right before, during, and then right after. So what do you think happened here? What do you think happened? What do you think happened there? Write it in the comments. We're going to watch it right now. Came too fast. That's what she said. Uh, To the corner. Oh, to the corner. Thank you for, for a little bit more context. Um, target fixated, possibly. Very good. So remember, orange stage going around. through the corner. He might. Oh, turning around. Trouble. You never know. Hey, your buddy didn't show up. Uh, uh. What do we do? Have our rescue packs. Remain calm, sure on safety. St uh, stop major bleeds. Make sure that he's doing fine. You have your rescue card. Hey, it's a. Uh, is that a KLR? Yep. Those are big boys. Oof. They should be fine. KLRs are like freaking uh, tanks. Oh, they're like the light, huh? We need to no. That's good. Turn the handlebars there. There we go. go. Handled it. Oh, no. What do you think is going to happen here, guys? What do you think is going to happen? 20 years of accident free riding for this biker ended on this very day. He acknowledged that the consequences of threatening public roads as a racetrack had to be accepted. Okay. Yeah, we. You don't want to do this on public roads, you know, he understands that. You know, he, he has some skill. He's got some good skill. Oh, we dumped the bike. Oh, no. Ooh. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. We could have been off the cliff. We have all our buddies right there making fun of us in, on our Cardo Pack Talk bolds. You know, 15 people, up to 15 people just talking crap about you. Oh, that sucks. Low side. You guys are right. Low side. Don't break for squirrels anymore. Hey, Rosemary, how you doing? Guys, we're raising money for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. Let's get to 2,000. Mm. Let's get to 2,000. Yeah, I'm all right. So we're, it looks like the dragon, right? Yeah, the guy in the front was dragging me. -nee. Vehicle pull off. So remember, remain calm, check on our buddies. Oh, man. I think I hit one of those. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hit one of those stupid uh, reflectors oh so they don't they don't have those little reflectors out on the track by the way it's not the dragon god it looks like it i've never been but i've seen plenty of videos you know of max risk crashing every single time he's there but you know Ooh, look at that cliffside straight back this way got so lucky got so lucky stingers injured let's go and wrap that thing up Hey, having some fun with our buddies over here with our Harley. These guys have skill. You know, part of the... Why'd you cut that out? No three-lane sections of the Dragon. Interesting. Interesting. Looks like a nice road. Uh, so right here, guys, what I was trying to say is that these guys do have skill. This takes skill, okay? This absolutely takes skill. Okay, they're controlling the bike in a way that most people can't. My thing here, when it comes to the smart rider principles, because they are doing these things, right? For the most part. This is what I typically don't see when it comes to people that ride like this. They don't have gear outside of, of a helmet. Okay, once again, if you guys want to know what kind of helmet that you want to get, screenshot this. Make sure you guys get a full face helmet. That's part of unit two 
of the BSR. But right here, guys, make sure you get full gear, rescue each other. So we're going to dump the bike. And what we're talking about typically when it comes to injuries is mechanism of injury. So when we lay the bike down like this, our left foot goes down. That's a lot of impact on our left knee. Have have any of you guys accidentally fell like two two not like two steps instead of that one step, and you landed really hard on that one leg, and you just feel it in your knee? I don't know. Maybe it's just me because I'm 36 years old. And I'm old as dirt. But we're gonna come up to here, and that's gonna piss off some of you guys that are actually older than me. But who cares? Uh, look at the lady in the in the uh, the side mirror. Uh, she's having a great time. Uh, so you put our hand down right there. Oof. This is why we need to wear uh, gloves, guys. We need to have some gloves. And once again, if uh, you want to be a part of the MTC Rider Academy, this is the, one of the slides for the glove section, okay? Uh, wear some gloves so you don't get that abrasion all over your freaking hands. And so then now you can't work on your hand or with your hands. So if you have a mechanics job, good luck. Um, have some issues. But wear full gear. So a nice little group ride, mob ride. Everyone's riding around on their Harleys. Make sure you guys have your rescue packs. Make sure you guys are... Wearing full gear, be a smart rider, everybody. Look at all these U-turns that are terrible. Let's go and take a look at that one. Look at all these U-turns. Practice your U-turns, everybody. Make sure you understand what you're trying to do here and uh, do a U-turn within um, at you know maybe 20 feet, 20, 30 feet. But if you need to have some practice, go ahead and screenshot that. Practice your skills. Look at these U-turns. So many Flintstone peddlers. All right, here we go. Mr. Special Snowflake. Nice little 360 camera. We've got a little... What, what'd I miss? Oh. Look right here. Look right here. It was at this moment that he knew. He... Cyclist messed that up. Side of the cyclist. But what stage should we be in? A little pop quiz for you. What stage should we be in when we're coming up to an intersection? And there we go. You broke your patella. Oof. No es bueno. Rescue that person. If Oh, they're walking wounded. They're fine. What are we doing there as, as, a, as the motorcyclist? Just kind of hanging out at the intersection, waiting for somebody to crash so we can get it on camera? Yeah, <laughs> He's got a Roo rock. That makes sense. All right, here we go. Orange stage. You're right, Cosmic. Going through here. Look at that line of sight, by the way. Look at that. You can see pretty far. I mean, I think it's because the camera's on the top of his head. It looks like a unicorn. But when I'm talking about positioning for safety and line of sight, when you're off to the side, you can see past everything. Very good. Very good. What's this uncommon thing? Somebody stopped. Why is somebody stopped? Uncommon thing. Pay attention. Pay attention. All right. Good position. You saw that? Look at the position we're in. Imagine if we were like right here and we had to now swerve, right? So this is like the moment we decide to swerve. Now we got to swerve and do this. But we're right here. Okay. So this is our position. Now our swerve just involves a very tiny movement. That's the whole point of positioning for safety is putting yourself in a position for good line of sight, which is going to give you that good escape path. Because if you're in a good line of sight right here, because you can see really far, guess what? That's also your escape path. It's really good. Uh, you also want space cushions to make these adjustments if you need to. Okay. So if we had a terrible space cushion, imagine trying to swerve from right here into there. It's not going to work. You're not going to have enough time. So maintaining a good space cushion is very important. So let's watch that one more time. Good position. It's a decent position. Now when we have to swerve, very minor swerve. That's it. That's all it takes. When you do it right, it doesn't look like you do much. Scooter Chronicles. All right, there's bad position. You see how you can't see around this vehicle? Position off. Ah, oh, wanted to get around the bus. Why did the bus... Why is the bus slow, everybody? Why is the bus being slow? Just take a look at this image. Write in the comments if you know anything about buses and what they do. And this is where you, uh, you understand and you take your DMV test, you read the books, and, and Z cool, be quiet. You've already answered too many questions. Um, you understand all these things so that when you actually are out driving, out riding, you're like, oh, that's why, that's why, that's why. The more you understand, the easier it is to, uh, to kind of modulate your speed. So I'm never behind a bus at a railroad track. So yeah, exactly. Z cool, uh, get wrecked, nerd, <laughs> Jeff Causey, solid snake. 
uh, yeah, exactly. Um, they stop at at, at stop or uh, at railroad tracks. They do a stop and they open the door and they close the door and then they go. So this person over on the right side is being very impatient. They're going to try to get over. They're going to move. So be kind of aware of this. This is where you have almost that top down 360 situation awareness because you understand things. Okay, you understand things. And Matt, I'm going to just popped in my head. We're going to go ahead and use this little metaphor. First time walking into a gym. You'd never been to a gym, like a like a workout place. You know, I don't know if you guys are thinking of like an auditorium type gym, but like a basketball courts, but like a gym with all the weight machines, everything. You walk in and you're like, I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's happening. I'm kind of, it's all awkward. I just kind of have my hands in my pockets. But after, you know, learning each machine machine, or you've been watching YouTube videos, or you've been you've been working out for a while, and now when you walk in, you know. That that's that that's that that's that that's that's gonna take him a little bit. He just started his sets. So this is gonna be this, and you're just kind of like flowing into the gym with some confidence. You understand what's going on, but if you are brand new, it's all pretty weird. It's all pretty awkward. Why are things happening? Why are things happening? So the moment you start to understand things as part of the Smart Rider principles, right? We're seeking, recognizing, and now understanding. All this stuff is not that big of a deal once you really understand it. You can actually put yourself out of these situations. You're not going to be next to vehicles that are going to do this. You just, it's, riding is, is nothing. Close calls don't become close calls anymore. Crashes barely even become close calls. Get a little bit more knowledge. Understand a little bit more, and you'll be able to navigate a lot of these situations without issue. You'll see them happen ahead of time. Yeah, they have to stop for... for uh, uh, at least in the United States, they have to stop for, at least in Arizona, I'll say that, stop for railroad tracks. All right, intersection, not a big deal. Don't fight for the lane. So this is what I'm talking about here. This is what I'm talking about here. Okay, they're gonna they're switching over. You see the side of the vehicle. They're over the line. We have a decent space cushion here. We should be going into orange stage anyways, coming up to an intersection. We're rolling off the throttle. Right now, we're not. We, we're just pulling in the clutch and kind of coasting. Um, keep both hands on the handlebars when we're coming up to an intersection like this so you can do progressive braking and let them in. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. So now he's trapped between SUV and flowing traffic. You see what I mean? Put yourself in a better position. Gloria the King, here we go. Uh, intersection, orange stage, they're turning. Michael just passed the MSF today. Congrats, Michael. Had to see if he looks as stupid as he drives. Once again, if we keep having road rage, we're gonna do an ad spot. We got some trash in the road. Okay, watch out for the corner coming up. Okay, no road rage, that's fine. Switching lanes, why did they switch lanes? Why'd they switch lanes, everybody? Right in the comments. Look at that, look at the pattern up there. Look at the pattern, look at the pattern. All right, all right, non-ish. All right, Gloria, we're we're just kind of done. With you. Bell Shream. All right, nice open highway. Got a quad lock, baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, did we lose something? <gasps> Something's flapping in the wind. Oh no, he lost his license plate. How are you gonna handle this, everybody? What's the safe way of doing this? That's one way. Oh, he still got it. You can maybe bend it without breaking it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Once again, everybody, we are raising money for the distinguished gentleman's ride. Let's get this to over two thousand. We're trying to be top fifty in the world. But with that said, hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and I'll be seeing you guys around. All right, we're good. Yeah, we're good.